ah, oh, you live long enough to see yourself become a villain. Just like Kanye, man. He's like him saying all that stuff about Jews. Like, nah, bro. Like, he's gone now. He's dead now. You think he's dead? Bro. Okay. Two years ago, he's saying that slavery was a choice. Now he's saying that Hitler had some points. Like, I, Jesus changed my life. Really? And I had to like put, I had to put Kanye to bed in my mind. I had to be like, like, I, I will always love and appreciate the art that he, what he did for me personally like as an individual. I, I will never forget listening to Jesus or the life of Pablo yep. in high school, the life of Pablo as a producer, hearing waves here, yeah, hearing famous, yeah. like changed my life, yep. but it makes it puts the whole thing has got a sour taste in my mouth knowing now all of the wild shit that he said just because he's like yeah i just say what everybody's thinking like no you're not bro like th- like <laughs> stop saying jews run the world bro like that's like that's not okay man like they do though they don't though they don't mm. though like they definitely run the entertainment industry but there I'm, might there might be a couple of jewish individuals but of all the things that he that said have powerful that to me doesn't like that's not offensive. That's a nice thing to say. That's yeah, true. Like, Jews I will got a lot say, of pow- Jews got a lot of power in the inter- entertainment industry. I will say, it was very, it was very. I don't even know. I don't even. I haven't had enough time to process it to have like a public opinion on it. But I will say. Well, so let me ask you this. So you said, Ye- so Jesus was the cutoff point for you? No, no, no. Jesus was just my f- like my favorite album for okay, like okay. half my life. So what about Donda? Guess who was going to jail tonight, bro? I loved that album. Okay. So I know God breathed on this. And yeah. when did that come out? That was after slavery was a choice, right? Yes, and it was and it was already at that point I was doing mental gymnastics trying right. to uh to separate making, the art from the artist. I'm and making, then it just kept piling up and piling up yeah. and now he's talking about Hitler and it's like, no, I'm out, man. I'm making a I'm point because I understand you and I I don't agree with anything that he's saying. Well, I don't there are a lot of things that he's saying that I don't know enough about to even have an opinion <laughs> true i'm out here talking but big definitely game like when I know he things. says when he says things like man should i even say that? i'm gonna say okay when he says when he says things like i love hitler i get what he's saying he's saying he that's i, th- I believe that's kanye's way of trying to lead with love right it's like saying yes i know this is a really bad person I feel like it's the same as when Donald Trump was like, I could shoot somebody on Fifth Street and I'd still be the president. Yeah. It's like it's like that Andrew Tate of like manosphere. <laughs> I am a big strong man. Yeah. I know everything. It's like Kanye, bro, your wife's fucking some other dude and you're mad and so you're gonna go blame the well, Jews. But we gotta stop and, with that narrative like, too though. Because they've been they It's kinda real, bro. They haven't been together for over a year. But he was married, he has kids with these people. Like I get right, it. Like, it takes the time like to she hurt. was fucking Pete Davidson while they were still together. He did not live in the home. They were not together. Like didn't, she he fu- didn't she fuck uh, Chris Paul? Yikes. Well, that was the, that's what was said. We don't know if that's actually true or not. But I, That drives me crazy, bro. If my, oh, my, I'm if I got married and then yeah, no, no, my no, no, wife no. was fucking NBA players, I'd be like... Whew. But we don't know what he's done either. My guess is he's probably been busy. He's over here saying Hitler's got some valid points. Like, yeah. And look, like, yeah, you can do the mental gymnastics of like... Have love for your enemy. Have love for the devil. That's have kinda, love that's for. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, like I, I totally get that yeah. too. It just to me was, you know what it was? It was just like that dude for so long was my hero. He was the guy who stood up oh, on TV and yeah. said George Bush doesn't care about black people. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, we clap. Yeah. Like, fire. And I, then to I, just. I, po- I posted not too long ago. It was out, it was just after the Alex Jones interview. I, I posted on Facebook. I Wait, Alex it. Jones interview with who? Kanye. That's where he said it. I haven't seen the whole interview. That's bro. where he oh said that. God. That's where the whole Hitler thing. Oh came from. god! And even Alex Jones was like, well, <laughs> "I don't know about that." Like, oh. but, but I posted that day. I said, "How fucking funny would it be if George Bush got on television tonight and said Kanye West doesn't care about black people?" That would have. See, that's a nowhere in a simulation. That would have been the most viral moment ever. Seriously, that would have that would have captured the zeitgeist. That would have been, been something strange. Would have been the greatest. But yeah, and so I, the only point that I was making is I Kanye's not done. You know what? I will. I will agree. Like He's gonna wh- drop my album, opinion. I'm gonna love it. Yeah. Regardless of my opinion, anyways, Kanye's gonna keep doing stuff and have hundreds of millions of fans. It ain't that I can't stop. It's that I won't stop. I made a few plays off a of flip. Now I'm on top. I'm Southside Chief, homie. Yeah. What you know about it? Lake Street Legend CEO, not the co-founder. What you wanna know about me? I'm so.